Um, I've been in tech, I've been in finance, I've been in social uh, and consumer. Um, and so I saw it as a unique opportunity to leverage those experiences and help, help us accomplish this mission of, of driving financial independence for consumers. You're probably thinking, what does SoFi have to do with Goldman Sachs? Well, lucky for you, in this video, we'll be going over the hidden link between SoFi and Goldman Sachs. It may seem as if they're completely different, but you'd be surprised. They're a lot more similar than you think. Kick back, relax, and light up that cigar because this will be a good one. We'll be going over SoFi, Goldman Sachs, their ties to China, similar products and services, and their management team. Stick through until the very end because we go over some very interesting points and we've even added a special bonus clip. Welcome to Wealth Gambit. On this channel, we cover SoFi news, fundamental analysis, and financial content in a way that's entertaining to watch and easy to learn. A lot of time and effort is put into making these videos, so if we provide you any value, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with someone who you think would gain value from this. Also, shout out to everyone who had commented on our last video. We appreciate you all. It means a lot. We also wanted to bring up this comment from PayBay saying, SoFi is going at eight to $10. Bank Charter is a pump scheme by Noto as a favor to his buddies to dump shares in the 20s. Now that everyone is out, Noto is nowhere to be found and the stock is down 5%. SoFi is the next pay save. What? Get the what do you guys think? I mean, who knows? Could be insider information. Is he on to something or is he on something? Just kidding. Comment down below your thoughts on this SoFi conspiracy theory. We'd love to hear what you guys think. With that being said, let's dive right into this. It's no secret that Goldman Sachs is one of the largest investment banks in the world, founded in 1869. <laughs> Goldman Sachs has established itself in the banking industry for over 150 years. At the time of recording this, Goldman Sachs is number 59 on the Fortune 500. And if you don't know, the Fortune 500 is a list of the 500 largest US corporations compiled by Fortune. We came across this article posted last year from SoFi stating, Goldman Sachs will be the first global bank to fully own its Chinese securities business. Goldman Sachs is on track to become the first global bank to acquire full ownership of its Chinese securities business. The bank is likely to take 100% ownership of Goldman Sachs Gao Hua Securities Company, which it plans to rename Goldman Sachs China Securities Company. Goldman Sachs and Gao Hua have worked together for 17 years. And just a few months ago on October 17, 2021, Goldman Sachs received approval from the Chinese Security Regulatory Commission to take full ownership of Goldman Sachs Gao Hua Security Company Limited. GSGH. This Goldman Sachs article also states, attaining full ownership of GSGH will enable us to position our firm for long-term growth and success in this market under one wholly owned entity to be renamed Goldman Sachs China Securities Company Limited. Wow. Anthony Noto must have been taking notes because SoFi pretty much did the same thing. SoFi also made its first expansion play by acquiring Hong Kong based investment app 8 Securities. In a press conference, Anthony Noto had said, We underwent an extensive process in considering our initial expansion into an international market, and it quickly became clear that Hong Kong, a financial capital of Asia, is ripe for innovation. Based on the platform we've built, SoFi, together with 8 Securities, can meet the needs of both experienced and novice investors alike. As part of our overall efforts to make headway on our mission outside of the US to help people get their money right. And guess what? SoFi rebranded eight securities as SoFi Hong Kong. If you wanna know more in detail, we actually made a detailed video explaining it. SoFi Hong Kong has been stepping up their brand awareness campaign with their newest project, No Excuses. This clip is talking about SoFi Invest auto invest feature. <laughs> And guess who else also has a robo advisor? That's right, Marcus by Goldman Sachs. Here's a look at another product that Goldman Sachs offers. Powered by an innovative cross asset framework, Marquis seamlessly delivers Goldman Sachs intellectual property through desktop, web, programmatically via APIs or through GS Now, our new mobile platform. As you can see, Marquee is Goldman Sachs API platform and their mobile platform is called GS Now. Marquee's core capabilities include market insights, analytical tools, execution services, and developer and data services. SoFi's API platform is called 
And they also have a mobile platform with their SoFi app. Galileo, on the other hand, offers. Galileo is basically a global payment processing platform that offers services like debit, credit, virtual cards, securities, program management, and many more. Not only that, Galileo leverages artificial intelligence technology to detect fraud. So basically, Marquee's API platform is utilized more for traders, developers, and investors, while Galileo's API works more on the payment processing for fintech company. One of our favorite books here at Wealth Gambit is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This book brings up having a mastermind group. A mastermind group is basically when two or more people combine their knowledge, talents, and efforts to achieve a specific goal. This ultimate goal for SoFi is simple. Help people achieve financial literacy and help you get your money right. As you can see, there's a lot of similar similarities between SoFi and Goldman Sachs. We're not so different, you and I. But nothing compares to actually being right there in the Goldman Sachs trenches. If we take a look at SoFi's leadership team, there are five people who have backgrounds working for Goldman Sachs. Some work there over a decade and some for less than a year. These five people are Anthony Noto, Chris LaPointe, Michelle Gill, Bill Tonona, and Chad Borton. To get a better understanding of this concept, let's break down each one of their previous roles at Goldman Sachs and why their specialized knowledge and experience are so crucial in SoFi's future success. Let's start with Commander Noto. I'm sure we all know most of his accolades, but if you don't, here's a quick breakdown. He was the CFO of the NFL, COO of Twitter, and as far as Goldman Sachs goes, he served as a co-head of global TMT investment banking at Goldman Sachs. If you don't know what TMT is, it's Floyd Mayweather's brand, The Money Team. He trained with Mayweather to throw hands with any fintech competition that steps his way. All right, just kidding. Goldman Sachs TMT stands for Technology, Media, and Telecommunications. Noto had spent four years within that division. Goldman Sachs CEO and Vice Chairman Richard Node had mentioned over the course of his career, Anthony has made a significant contribution in growing our TMT franchise. He has been a trusted advisor to a number of our clients and played a central role in several industry-leading transactions. But I'm not done yet! Not only was he co-head of TMT at Goldman Sachs, he actually joined Goldman Sachs way back in 1999. And after a few years of hustling and soaking up as much knowledge as possible, he became a managing director in 2003 and he was named partner in 2004. And just to give you a sneak peek of what Anthony Noto's impact was at Goldman Sachs, here is a Bloomberg clip from 2014 talking about Noto's role in helping with Twitter's IPO. And he was responsible in part for that Twitter IPO as well. So like what kind of reputation did he gain there and how did that wind up helping? So the Twitter IPO was a big deal for Goldman Sachs. It was the biggest tech company they ever took public, uh, according to our data. And that deal was executed or it was seen to have been executed very seamlessly. It was a stark Especially contrast. Especially compared to Facebook, yes, say. Yeah. Exactly, to what happened with Facebook where they were. By the way, Anthony Noto had a great reputation at Twitter. We stumbled across this Reddit post of someone who used to work under Noto saying, I worked under Noto at Twitter. The reason Twitter's share price has tripled since then is largely due to the lasting effects of the changes he instituted while there. He's the best business leader I've worked under to date. But the question is, is this true? I hope so. Okay. Okay. Sure, Anthony Noto has done a lot for Goldman Sachs, and as impressive as this is, he actually isn't the only SoFi executive with ties to Goldman Sachs. Those trenches traded hands many times over the course of the battle. SoFi's chief financial officer, Chris LaPointe, was also deep in the trenches at Goldman Sachs. He began as an associate at TMT Investment Banking and then worked his way to becoming vice president for Goldman Sachs TMT Investment Banking. Michelle Gill, SoFi's executive vice president and group business unit leader of SoFi Lending and Capital Market, actually spent the most time in the trenches at Goldman Sachs, where she spent over 14 years there. She joined Goldman Sachs in 2003 and was named managing director in 2005 and a partner in 2010. According to Wall Street Journal, Michelle Gill rose through the ranks of Goldman's mortgage bond unit before the financial crisis and after it helped develop the firm's consumer finance business, which traded Trades loans backed by auto, student, and unsecured personal debt. Michelle Gill is a banking veteran, and Goldman Sachs was the perfect place for her to really build and master her skills. She brings a lot to the table for SoFi from her experiences at Goldman Sachs. You know, I was at Goldman covering SoFi, um, you know, relatively early, and 
the notion of getting to go work at the company that I thought had this tremendous consumer brand was so amazingly aligned to the mission is something I never thought would happen. Um, you meet so many investors along the way and you meet so many constituents and all of them want you to twist and turn in ways that are not necessarily totally consistent. And I think um, Anthony's done such a phenomenal job making sure that we stay on course and ensuring that with every and each move that we make, um, we're furthering the mission. And, you know, the vertical integration we did with Galileo is another example of that. So, so uh, we're really excited to have her. She's a unique combination of being a financial expert. Uh, she's also a proven leader um, in a tough industry and she's a culture uh, builder Older as well, and that's what really uh, gave us the opportunity to bring her on, and we're really excited about it. I was Let's talk about another trench warrior, Billy Tenona, SoFi's Senior Vice President of Corporate Development and Investor Relations. He has about two decades of experience with JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, UBS, and Fortress Investment Group. He was the Vice President of Equity Research and Deputy Business Unit Leader for Financial Services at Goldman Sachs for over three years. Last but not least, Chad Borton, the SoFi Bank president, also had a short stint at Goldman Sachs for less than a year. Although he wasn't at Goldman Sachs for a long time, he still soaked up some knowledge and Chad has over 25 plus years of experience in financial services with other banks by being the president of USAA Bank and vice chairman of the bank's board of directors. As you can see, this mastermind group has a combined 25 plus years of experience working with one of the largest financial institutions in the entire world. This isn't even including their experience outside of Goldman Sachs. This specialized knowledge combined with SoFi's huge ambition, having a one-stop shop platform, acquiring Galileo, and all the other power moves makes SoFi unstoppable in the years to come. If you like this video, share it on social media and tag us at Wealth Gambit and we'll shout you out on an up and coming video. Thanks for sticking around. And if you've made it to this bonus clip then comment see you in the trenches and we'll shout out everyone who comments and, and in terms of silicon valley not just in terms of twitter how much cloud does he wind up having nodo has an incredible amount of cloud in silicon valley god bless